whatever the projections of the shortages are now, I think they're way overestimates because we're they're having people do the wrong work. Um, and we don't have to anymore. <laughs> like there are there are good solutions for a lot of parts of this problem. And then the parts where there aren't good solutions, that's where like, you know, wet neural networks are the right thing to use. And people are going to want to do those jobs. Yeah. I think too, uh, something that that we've seen um, getting back to the techn technological capabilities and improvements that are made is um, solutions that are brought in to, to supplement or enhance or improve uh, the underwriting process, right? And so we've talked a lot about, uh, you know, third-party data vendors that that provides su supplemental data to what's on a submission either to validate. But there are a lot of cool companies and I'll, I'll, this is a property and casualty example, but there's a lot of companies in SureTax now focused on um, geospatial data. And so that could be for underwriting or, or claims uh, depending on the use case. But, you know, um, some of those platforms are really cool because you get to go in and you get to, you know, visually see, think Google Maps, but like much more, much more um, yeah. impressive. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, you can dig in and understand what is the square footage of this property? Uh, what are the, what, what, what is surrounding the property that could become a risk if, the, if they're in a wildfire zone? Um, what are some of the, even like to underwrite this, what what are the risk mitigators that we need to tell them that they need to to apply in order for us to to bind this business um, on a claims perspective, um, pre catastrophic event. This is what the map looked like post catastrophic event. Here's the map. Let's go out. Let's send our claims adjusters to 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 these places first because they were the hardest hit, or we know for a fact that that this property was damaged or not. Let's reach out to the insured. Um, but on the underwriting side, that's really cool because you get to go in and, and visually see some of those things. The, 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 cha the challenge that, that we find sometimes is when you have a lot, I'll call it a lot of, of these cool solutions or um, systems that you're using, the integration is a challenge or the, the workflow disruption is a challenge um, because as as I know, a lot underwriters already have to move through a lot of different systems or screens. And so adding a number of more, what even if that improves the whole process is likely a challenge. So when, when we're talking to startups, a, a key question that we have is how do you fit into the existing workflow? Um, because people want to want to work with these cool things, but they're not going to do it if it's a ton of effort for little return. Um, totally. 